Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how can we encrypt and decrypt data in CodeIgniter 3 framework. In current web development data security is very important, anybody can hack our data and misuse our data, so if data has been stored in encrypted form then nobody can misuse our data. Now one question arise how can we encrypt and decrypt data in CodeIgniter framework, so in this tutorial we will learn step by step how can we do encryption and decryption of data in CodeIgniter. In this, this are testing database and in this we have on sample data with table column like ID, first name, last name, age, and gender, we will insert encrypted data into this table and then after we will update that encrypted data. Fold, this is our code igniter working folder, first we have open config folder, config.php file. In this file first we want to define base URL of our application, so here in $config base URL variable we have defined base URL of this application. Then after we have to define encryption key for use of encryption class of encrypt data, so here in $config encryption key variable we have defined encryption. By using this key we can encrypt and decrypt data, if this key has been lost then our encrypted data will not be decrypted. So, store this key in safe location. After this we want to make database connection, so we have open database.php file. Name, in this file we have defined host name set to localhost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. First we want to insert encrypted data into MySQL database, for this we have make 3 file, one in encryption decryption.php in controller, second is encryption decryption model.php in models and insert data.php in views folder. Dec First we have go to encryption decryption.php controller file and here we have write function insert, this function will load form for insert data. Under this function we have write dollar this with load object with view method and under this we have write insert data view file, it will load insert data view file. View. Now we have go to insert data view file and here we have define form tag with method is equal to post and action is equal to base URL function slash encryption decryption controller slash insert validation. And it here when form has been submitted then it has send request to insert validation method of encryption decryption controller. Put, under this function we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to first name, under this user can enter his first name details. Below this we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to last name, under this user can enter his last name details. In third tag we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to age, under this tag user can enter his age details. For select gender, we have write select tag with name is equal to gender and under this we have make two option like male and female, from this select box user can select their gender. For submit form details, we have write input type is equal to submit, 
name is equal to insert and value is equal to insert, by click on this button user can submit their details. Decrypt. Now we have go to encryption decryption controller and here we have make insert validation method, this method will receive insert data request. Under this method we have write dollar this with load object with library method and under this we have write form validation, this method will load form validation library. After this we have write dollar this form validation object with set rules method with three argument, in first argument we have read text box name first name, in second argument we have write first name valid and last argument we have write validation rules like required and trim here we have applied form validation required data rules to first name text box so if we have not filled this details then it will display validation error box for validate last name text box data here we have write dollar this with form validation object with set rules method and under this we have write last name text box name, last name, and validation rules required and trim. Text, same way for validate age text box data. We have write dollar this with form validation object with set rules method and under this we have write age text box name, age, and validation rules like required, numeric and trim. Here we have apply one more validation rules like numeric, if user has enter non-numeric value then it will display validation error on web page. Lastly we want to apply validation rules to gender field, so here we have write dollar this with form validation object with set rules method and under this we have write gender select box name, gender, and validation rules required and trim. Under, now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar this with form validation with run method is equal to false, this condition will check, if form date not follow any validation rules then then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar this with insert method. This code will called insert method which load insert data view file with validation rules. For display validation rules on insert data view file, so here in insert data view file we have write if statement and under condition we have write validation error function not equal to blank. This function return validation error. This condition will check if this function return any validation error then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with validation errors function, it will display validation error on web page. Now again we have go to controller and here here if all form data has been properly validated then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar this with load object with library method and under this we have write encrypt. This code will load encrypt library under this function and by using this library we can encrypt data from normal string and decrypt encrypted data into normal string. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to array and under first key we have write first name value get from dollar this with input object with post method and under this we have write first name text box. Here it will store data in normal string, but we want to store under encrypted form, 
so here we have write dollar this with encrypt object with encode method, this method will convert normal string to encrypted form. In second key we have write last name and value get from, dollar this with input object with post method and under this we have write last name. For convert this data into encrypted form, here we have write dollar this with encrypt object with encode method, this method will convert this form field data into encrypted form. In third key we have write age and this key value get from dollar this with input object with post method and under this we have write age text box name. Now we want to convert this data into encrypted form, here we have write dollar this with encrypt object with encode method, this method will convert it normal string to encrypted form. And in last key we have write gender and value get from dollar this with input object with post method and under this we have write gender select box name. So for convert into encrypted form, here also we have write dollar this with encrypt object with encode method, this way we have store form data into dollar data variable and also converted into encrypted data. Now we have write dollar this we have load object with model method and under this we have write encryption decryption model. This method will load encryption decryption model under this function. Now we have go to encryption decryption model, and here we have make function insert with dollar data variable, this method will insert data into MySQL database. Under this function we have write dollar this with database object with insert method with to argument, in first argument we have write sample data table name and in second argument we have write dollar data variable, it will insert data into MYSQL table. Now again we have go to controller and here we have write dollar this with encryption decryption model with insert method and under this we have write dollar data variable. This code will insert data into MSYQL database. Below this we have write dollar this with session object with set flash data method with two argument. In first argument we have write variable name action and in second argument we have write data inserted message. By using this session class set flash data method we can store this message under session variable and this message can be fetch only one time in next page redirect. After this we have write redirect method and under this we have write encryption decryption controller name, after successfully inserted of data, page will be redirect to index method of this controller. Now here we have make index method, this is the root method of this controller class. Under this method we have write dollar this with load object with view method and under this we have write encryption decryption view file name, this method will load this file in browser. Now we have open this file. And here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar this with session object with flash data method and under this we have write action. This condition will check there is any data store under the session variable.
If this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with dollar this with session object with flash data method and under this we have write action. By using flash data method, it will fetch data from session variable which has been stored using set flash data method and display on web page. Now we have check output in browser. Friends here we can see in browser we have type base URL slash encryption decryption controller name slash insert. It has called insert method of encryption decryption controller and display form on web page for insert data. Now we have have directly click on insert button. Then we can see validation message on web page, that means here our code igniter form validation is working. Now we have enter proper data, so in first name we have type John, in second field we have type Smith, in third field we have enter and in last field we have select gender and lastly we have click on insert button. After click on insert button page has been redirect to base URL slash encryption decryption controller name and here we can see data inserted success message. Now we have go to MYSQL database. Here in sample data table we can see data has been inserted into this table in encrypted form not in normal string form. So this way we can insert encrypted data in code igniter using encrypt library. In next part we will see how can we fetch this encrypted data and display in normal form on web page. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our youtube channel for get more update regarding release of future video lastly keep watching our youtube channel Thanks for watching this video tutorial.